Everyone. welcome back to my channel so today I have a DIY farmhouse kitchen table makeover so here's the backstory on this table I loved it so much okay I still do I got it from at home like three years ago and one day my daughter was painting her nails on this table and she spilled fingernail polish on it so she tried to clean it up with fingernail polish remover and it took off the top coat just like it would a like fingernail polish. So it was, you know, like raw wood and then they painted it and made it look distressed. So when she tried to uh, take that fingernail polish off, it took off the paint too and the little cute rustic look it had. And it's been like this for a while, you guys probably have seen it in the cleaning videos so we finally decided to do something with this table plus um, we don't use coasters on this table so there was like some warped spots so I just told my husband to go ahead and sand it all down so that we can do something different with it I was like you know we can't mess it up it's already messed up so let's just go for it and if it doesn't work out, we can sell it and go find something else. So this was the process. It was quite a process and you guys will see. I started filming this and then I was like, you know what? This isn't going to make much of a video because I love it already. And then I didn't like it. Y you guys will see the whole story. So make sure you watch the whole thing because I take you guys with me to like go get inspiration from an antique store and all kind of cool stuff so i hope you guys enjoy it and if you are thinking about redoing a table i hope this gives you some inspiration and ideas I did buy this thinking we were going to use it it is rustic beige so we were gonna stay in the table after we sanded it but when we sanded it I ended up really liking the color that was under it it was really close to what I already wanted so we just left it oh, no. now hey watch your fingers whenever we started sanding it realized we couldn't get up all the white and I was like you know what I actually like it because it still has that rustic feel to it because I didn't want it to be I mean the original idea was to have it all same color like the real light brown that you see but then he was like what do you think about this before I sand it even further down and I was like you know what I really like it so we're going with this for now we might change it later I don't know I'm I'm kind of tempted to paint it, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all put up and it's dried and it has the decor and it's in the space because I feel like that really is like, makes it or breaks it. Like if you like it in your space. And if you think I should paint it, what do you think I should paint it? Because I'm kind of getting into adding pops of black in the house. So I was thinking, black legs with like a raw wood top but I don't know I don't know let me know what you guys think all right guys update he has the sealant on it but I'm kind of telling him to wait it's the bench because I feel like I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but now I feel like it kind of looks yellow. Like, I don't know if the sealant did it or what. But I'm, <sighs> this is, I think this is like too much than what I want. 
So, I think we're gonna go ahead and paint it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have him paint it. He's gonna sand off the polyurethane. I feel so bad, but I don't wanna go with it just because it's finished. So I think we're gonna paint it now. But now I'm trying to figure out what color. I'm not doing white. I really wanna do a sage green, but it's not gonna match. Like when I put Christmas up, it's not gonna match. So I'm thinking a gray, like a light gray. And I'm gonna have to look when I go to the store and see what color, like exactly I want. What exact color I want. I don't know what I'm saying. Just cause I think it would look pretty doing gray with this. I, I was debating doing it like a dark stain with a light legs, but I always do that. And our hutch is like that. It has white legs with a dark stain on top. Let me show you guys. So our hutch right here is like white with a dark top. So I don't want to. I don't want to do that again. I think we're gonna do gray. I think it'll be pretty, and it will match year round because I decorate like all the time, not all the time, but fall, Christmas, plus whatever I want to do on the table, like decoration wise, I won't have to think about if it's gonna match. And if I do the colors that I want to do, like I was thinking gray, not gray, okay. So I do wanna do gray, but I was thinking color wise, like out of my comfort zone, like a blue, a powdery blue or a sage green. But I don't think either one of those are going to match for like a majority of the year when I decorate. So I think I'm going to do gray. I don't know. I'm going to go get the paint here in a little bit. I'm so tired. I was up editing and filming till 4 o'clock in the morning. And then I woke up at 9. So I'm going to go lay down for a little bit and get on Pinterest. Also, a video is about to go live in 3 minutes. So I'm going to be answering the comments but yeah I'm gonna get in the bed and get on Pinterest and kind of look look up like um, redone tables so I can kind of see it like actually see it done and then I might also go to this antique store here and there's this okay so it's like a huge kind of like not it's not a warehouse because it's not that big but it's pretty big it probably takes up like two blocks and it's um, a building that's full of booths from different antique from different antique vendors. And there's a booth there that I love. And uh, I go in there like for inspiration. And then I've also bought stuff from that booth before. So I might go there. And if I do, I'll take y'all with me because I love that. I love that place so much. And that's the only like there's a bunch of different kinds of antiques like there's antique antiques like where people like dishes and um figurines and then there's like kids books and it's just i'll, I'll have to show you guys maybe i'll put that in this vlog because it's a really really cool place um but there's one booth in there that i like to go to they even sell paint the paint that they use to refinish their furniture and i haven't been in there in a while so i want to see what they have
ended up going with this chalk paint. It is not what I had in mind, but when I went to the paint store, they were out of a lot of the colors I wanted. So I found this and I was like, let's just go ahead and try it. So here is what it looked like after one coat. And we did not do like a wax top. We just put the chalk paint and then put um, the polycrylic over it. And I really, really like how it turned out. I was really loving that raw wood, but I just wasn't filling the paint after all. Um, so this is what it looked like with one coat. And it i really 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 like how it turned out um i i didn't want to do white again and it's almost so light that it looks white but when you look at it next to the table legs it you can tell it's gray so we did the top of the table and the top of the bench gray and um it just i really like it and it's feels like a new table to us it freshened up the space so yeah i um found this paint at walmart actually yeah i went to a few different places to try to get paint mixed and i just ended up going with this chalk paint and i i like it because it's not i didn't want anything too shiny i wanted something flat and yeah you guys will see here in a bit uh with it in the house and with our table centerpiece on it and just what it looks like in the space. My husband did an amazing job and it just like makes me want to work on another project. But yeah, this is what we went with and I really love it. And let me know what you guys think because we can always redo it again. <laughs> Easy for me to say because my husband did the whole thing, but let me know what you think. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away all you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me Sometimes I 